Greetings! Oh, I don't have to hold down my push to talk cubes. <laughs> Greetings, everybody, uh, liberal comrades, worms and germs, and children of all ages, and welcome to another Icom Simulations game, Shadowgate. Joining me, uh, I am not alone in this endeavor. I'm actually going to try out something. I brought along a, uh, a friend of mine from the Voltron Army. Please, everybody, say hello to the catfish. Exactly. I do believe his volume should come through rather well. If not, well, it's his fault, not mine. I have my volume cranked up to max, everybody. Uh, and hopefully we can make well, something... coming through well to me. Good. I can know myself enough. That's good. I mean, I mean if you watch the, the Dungeon Crawl Stone Suit videos I recorded with you, some people, well, actually nobody complained about it, except for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I'll try talking some more now. Better? Oh, yes. There we go. Apparently, right. I, apparently I had the TeamSpeak client volume scale lower. There must have been a time whenever somebody was talking that I didn't want to listen to them. Anyway, I'm not going to give you guys a huge, massive breakdown of this game. Use the fucking Google machine. Relearn about Shadowgate. This is a Nintendo port. It serves and works much better than uh, Uninvited. They really didn't alter the storyline. This game's also famous for lots and lots of deaths. I'm hoping to showcase them. So, file one. New. Let us begin. The last thing that you... Re oh, I'm not even going to read that. You children can read. Catfish has never played this game. He has no idea what it is we're doing here. I kind of uh, hit him with a blackjack and sapped him, and uh, he's here with me. Yes, it was a terrible attack. And uh, hopefully uh, he can learn and enjoy about this game as much as you children. If not, if he gets bored, well, that's cool. It'll give me an opportunity to take a break and drag some other poor fucking fool in with me. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be fine. Goody, goody, goody. So uh, what we've been charged with, basically, is uh, we're some sort of uh, guy who's uh, serving a king, and we've been charged with a quest... With a, with, from help of a wizard, or a druid, rather, to uh, go crush a warlock lord who uh, makes his home in the... Original. Who, who makes his home in the castle's shadow gate. The dreaded warlock lord is apparently going to use his black magic to raise the behemoth from the dark depths. Oh no, not behemoth. Whoever the behemoth is, I don't know. But apparently this guy's pretty badass. And it will surely destroy us all, unless I save the day. Yay. I'm the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy. <laughs> Negative five seed points. Negative five points to every, trees. to each and every single one of you, if you've ever heard that line before. <laughs> How many times in a game have you heard the line? Oh, you're the last one. You can only do this. Only you. We should turn it into a drinking game. <laughs> Every time there's a... With this old cliche, have a drink. Oh. Here we I'm, go. I'm grabbing my cider now. Hmm. Yep, I just grabbed my crushed soda. We got this shit. Alrighty. Right. So this game also operates on a time limit. Uh, I mean, it doesn't operate in real time, because that'd be unfair for an adventure game, but, uh... You see that a uh, torch glowing up there, eventually that will start to die out. And if it ever dies out completely, it'll be dark and will stumble and will die. So you have to pick up replacement torches. I know, dig move game. Yeah, that's uh... I, I don't even know what's going on right But you see, I enjoy games like that. I mean, like, old back in the day, like, uh, Uninvited, the Windows port, where, uh, the mansion will eventually consume your soul and take you over if you don't figure it out in time. Spoilers. Well, I mean, yeah, I pretty much uh, make clear that it's a time limit. I've just never said how until now. Except, you know, while yeah. playing the games. So, sorry, Catfish. Oh, no worries. I didn't care. I was, say, I was hoping not. So here we go. It's the door leading into the castle shadow gate. Couldn't they have like light gate or happy door? <laughs> happy door fun time gate. <laughs> I am the evil wizard. 
Christmas. Welcome to Happy Times Adventure Park. Yes. Um, also, folks, uh, but you if you can actually hear the sound of Shadowgate at all, plus points for you. I had that turned down so Catfish and I can actually talk. I mean, uh, in the, uh, the, 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 the Macintosh port of this, which we could play, but we're not going to. <laughs> um, at least not right now. Uh, there's actually no sound anyway, at least no music. So get over it. We'd have to make our own. So now, uh, the Warlock Lord is speaking to us and saying, uh, you're going to get your ass kicked for coming in here. What a pity. Sound of maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. I'm not going to sound like right the Dungeon Master, isn't it? He's the Warlock Lord. Would, would you like to give us any maniacal laughter, Catfish? <laughs> <laughs> and for more like that, you can uh, watch Evil Genius by Catfish. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. So, uh, the, our, our first puzzle here is to uh, use Key 1, which we got by opening that skeleton. Uh, that the skeleton, the skull, at the top of the door. Yeah, they hide the key there. To open this door. Where else would you hide the key? In a I know. Dome? Now, uh, that door is locked. I'm not gonna bother wasting my turns to check. However, so we're gonna go ahead and come in here. Now we have here, ooh! We have torches, and we have, let's see, this is a new emulator. So, my save state button is I. Yes, children. I'm saving a state. What does that mean? I'm about to showcase one of the <laughs> reasons why this game is famous. Take the book. Oh, dear. When you remove the book from its pedestal, the floor collapses and you fall to your death. Everybody take a drink. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Oh, shit, I saved oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the correct button, children, was P. <laughs> Good thing there is an in-game save feature, and it, it restored me back to the last room. <laughs> Yes, I love points. All right, so there's absolutely nothing that actually gives away that this pedestal is trapped. You can look at the pedestal. It says you seem to be wasting your time. You can look at the book. Can you take the torches? You actually can. You can take the torches. Not the little candles that are on that. Like the little pedestal thing. And so and you can yeah, look at the... the yeah, I can. And you see, it tells you that you're wasting your time. There's no way for you to know... Unless you actually take the book. Now, if you open the book, a rectangular hole is found containing key two, which we're going to take. Inventive names. Yes, the key two is in hand. It is your objective to figure out where they go. Here we go. Now we're going to take the torches. Torch. Torch. Now there's a lot of things in your hands. I know. And and you know it could be even worse. Let's grab these torches while we're at it. Do they count as part of the uh time movement? Uh yeah, you can actually uh, you can set them on fire and you can uh if you run out of torches your your and your last torch dies, you'll have a problem. But these will allow yeah. you they allow you to extend your time, if you will. Speedruns of this game can actually uh, do it with, like, three torches total, but uh, somebody who's never played the game before might actually run out of torches entirely. Sounds like something I'd do. And, you know, they, they're, they've constantly been saving the game, so they're put in a situation where they can't win in time. So, key Again, two... Again, something I'd do. <laughs> key two works on this little passage, which gives us a sword and a sling. Awesome. The sword is in hand. The sling was taken. Oh, <laughs> the sling's not in hand? Damn it. <laughs> I feel cheated. So, 
What's the button for this again? Two. I. <laughs> Shut up. <All> right. <laughs> Use sword. Raffle, 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 raffle. You thrust sword <laughs> into your chest. Blood begins to flow. Suicide won't help in your quest. The warlock. Well, that's it, I want to be the guy. <laughs> you jumped into a sword, you retard. Well, it's a sad thing that your adventures end here. If I press P. We're, we're going to meet him a lot, aren't we? Yes. Yes, we are. He, he's going to become a common feature. He is scarier in the Mac version, uh, which is understandable. <laughs> so, you can also use the torch to kill yourself. We're going to do that now. What, what, what do you want to use the song? Dom de dom dom. Self. You now have terrific second degree burns on your hands. Terrific. You hold the flame close enough to your skin to cause second and third degree burns. It's, it's a slow and painful death. You finally set yourself on f your hair on fire. The rest of your body soon follows. Oh, it's him again. Now, uh, I don't know if, uh, how well can you actually hear the music, Catfish? Rather well. Okay. I mean, when I record, I have to turn everything down, so yeah. it's about the same. So, uh, did you hear that tone change while I was setting myself on fire? Yes. Yeah, that wasn't relating to me setting myself on fire. That was the torch dying. By the way, I'm going to use the hit function because it's actually useful and it reveals a secret passage. That's, that's the agile equivalent of kicking a door. Absolutely. Alrighty, as soon as you enter the room, you see an arrow on the front wall. Here we go. Take it, I'm sure it's safe. It actually is. Now, whenever I... Your game goes crazy. You only have a certain amount of time to set a new torch on fire. Of course, I'm going to forget the buttons again. Because, you know, we have to showcase us dying to this. So, P and I. Look. Thou art truly a brave knight. Hit. Self. Smash! Now you see stars! <laughs> Move. Up here. The ledge wasn't strong enough to hold you. You fall to the ground and land hard on your rump. But you didn't die. Oh no. Take. Torch. You can't take... Oh, yes I can. It, it's so useful to actually have a mouse feature. <laughs> as opposed to this. Oh, oh. There's a reason why I can't take it. I forgot. You got a pull him? <laughs> You're fucking... These, these torches are actually fixed into the wall. I forgot. Aww. Uh, kill the choice. Because, uh, you'll flip one. Actually, no, you won't. Maybe you use the use option. I don't remember this that well. You move the torch, here. and here we go. It. It's a hidden door. There's a spiral staircase leading down. So, let's go ahead and head on down. Don't be mindful of that noise, children. Oh, looky here! What? Your torch goes oh, out no. with a fizzle. I actually got goosebumps from this music because it creeps me out. <laughs> with outstretched arms, you move slowly, looking for a light. Suddenly, you trip over something. Smash, you fall face first to the floor. It's a sad thing wow. that your adventures have ended here. P. More drinks. <laughs> Take a drink every time the Grim Reaper appears. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that. There we go. Use torch. Move down here. Okay. Stand at the edge of a deep chasm. From the darkness below rise the screams of the undead. You too can own your own. This <laughs> Now, uh, let's take a look at these two bridges. One looks like this. The other looks like this. 
Hmm. Hmm. As you reach the middle of the bridge, it collapses under your feet. The bridge won't hold you. You can't cross unless you lose some weight. You can't cross at all. You're dead. <laughs> I know. Oh, by the way, move into the pit. With a loud cry, you take the big plunge. <laughs> That's right. I just jumped into the pit, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why would you do such a thing? What's this? A wraith is standing in your way, barring your path. Bullshit. Go for it, babe. Stupid wraith. You're afraid to get near it. This one actually can't kill you, but you can't get past him unless you use... There's a reason why this torch is separate from all the others. And the game is actually kind enough not to let you accidentally use this torch unless you're at this thing. You put the torch close to the wraith, but nothing... Oh, excuse me. There must be more than one way to do it. I have to uh, go to the torch on... Shit. Sorry about the min minor hiccup of service, everybody. Let's get back to solving this. The torch burns with a strange white flame. You have to use your burning torch on that torch. And you'll automatically yes. throw the flaming torch. Causing the undead apparition to be engulfed by a white flame. And... I was so ready to drink then. Sorry. <laughs> Take. Yes. You torch. Take. Torch. Take. Cloak. Not many people notice the fact that there's a cloak there. Use cloak. I thought it was a diamond or something. On self. That'll be useful later. So let's go ahead through here. Wait. I don't think I want to go through there. I want to go through here. <laughs> go through where? It was just another door on the mini map that you can't see normally. So here we go. Yeah. This small stone chamber is lined on one side by two barred portals. Epor. What is that? The sign reads Epor. Epor, Epor, Epor. You got it! It seems to some sort of magic word. <laughs> Drinking. <laughs> You've learned one magic spell. Yay. Yes, as a matter of fact, it does. Use uh, all the, spells in this, uh, the spell was chanted. Well, it's backwards. <laughs> uh, uh, no, they aren't. Okay, I was gonna say that'd be so easy. Yeah, you can actually get up to the room where this leads normally, but uh, if you try to jump down without the rope being there, you'll kill yourself. So we're gonna lose out on seeing that one. Sorry, everybody. Uh. <laughs> I guess that's one way to look at it. It's an ancient leather-bound parchment. Can I open it? So I can, you know, study it and reveal the secrets to everybody? The scroll one is open. Your hands begin to sweat because of your extreme excitement. Five to find. Three are one. One gives access. The bladed sun. The silver orb. The banished below. The staff of ages. The vanquished the foe. Joining two, the golden blade, the last to invoke the platinum horn. That just told you how to win the game. Ah. Uh, nothing like good old exposition. Yes, nothing like good old exposition indeed. Now let's see here. These are bottles. No, I don't want bottle one. <laughs> but I guess I'll carry it with me. <laughs> I have to take bottle two. Hey kids, guess what? As you consume the liquid in the vial, your body convulses and death spasm qu quickly follow. Whoa, my computer just went crazy. You still with me, Catfish? Catfish? Are you there? 
Ah, shit. That's a problem. Okay, everybody, we've had a little few technical difficulties. We'll be back. Man, am I not allowed to commit suicide in peace? Damn it. Let's try this again. Use. Yes, let's. Bottle one. Self. There you go. Your body convulses and death spasms quickly follow. Yeah. Hey, Grim Reaper, use bottle one on self. <laughs> Indeed. So, how about we just drop bottle one? Leave bottle one. Where should this be dropped? Right there. What do you mean I can't drop it here? Right there. What do you mean I can't drop it there? Fuck you! Okay. There must be, like, an exact location where I forget. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> if only this were the fucking Mac version, I could just drag it out of my inventory, but such is not the case. Aww. Can I open that? Can I hit that? Will this work? Okay, come on. I, kn I know there's, there's something back there. Look, it seems that this part of the wall doesn't quite fit. Damp ah. air is blowing out of the gap in the stone wall. Open. Feel the ground? There we go. Uh, that's how it but that's nothing we can access for the time being, so we're going to uh, GTFO. What? I mean, we can go in there, but we can't do anything once we go in there. We have to use a gem. It's not like a trap room or anything. <laughs> I'll take these torches because inevitably I'm just going to keep fucking around. I'll also... Uh, I don't want to take the broom yet. We'll see. I may need the broom later. I may not. It depends. Alright. A long cold hallway filled with a dozen coffins. This is awesome. Watch this, folks. Open coffin. The lid of the coffin is open. This green slime is quite disgusting. Move. Mm, green slime. You can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? You try to pass the slime, but it engulfs your body, dissolving it in seconds. You die instantly. No pain. No nothing. You were slimed. Wow. It's a sad thing to your adventure. <laughs> Pro tip. Of course it's sad. Don't open that. It's hilarious. The lid of the coffin is open. Surprise! <laughs> as, you open the, drink, as you open the tomb, a banshee flies out and emits an ear-shattering scream. You're all right, but it is very hard to hear. It wasn't a trap or anything. Phew. You have to open the door. Oh, fuck you, game. Can you not tell that I want to automatically open the door? Christ in heaven. There's a door in front of you. You walk into it. You're dead. Oh my gosh, this was cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. Oh no, not enslaved dwarves. <laughs> I thought I killed all those already, what the hell? <laughs> and this leads back here. So we solved the mystery, everybody. Now the next thing we're going to do is open this door and move through there. That was the room we... That was the mirror room. Oh. A shark swims by as if patrolling this calm pool. Oh, really? How much hole is it? Well, I think I'll take that key. You can't reach it from here. Swimming the shark-infested pool would be suicidal. Nonsense! And we haven't done that enough. As you swim toward the skeleton, you feel the jaws of a shark grab you and pull you under. You curse yourself for using your body as bait. Even before the life has left your body, the lake will be filled with your blood. Great. It's a sad... Shut up. Hey, it's Grimmy again. <laughs> you know what? I know the exact way to get rid of all this water. Observe, everybody. Use torch. <laughs> you stick the burning torch in the water. <laughs> the flame just went out. Your torch goes out with a fizzle. Okay. <laughs> we know it was coming there, I, I, folks. <laughs> I thought you were being serious then. I was like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> no, it was a way to die, man. <laughs> Meet this logic puzzle, motherfucker. <laughs> Water cascades over a subterranean cliff into a cool, clean stream. We're gonna take this stone. The stone is in hand. And we're gonna use the stone on ourselves. No, not really. We're gonna put this one yeah, in the I'll sling. You put the small stone in the sling. I'll only need one. I hope. Now, you see this? This is a passage! The walls in this room are much too close for comfort. The damp walls of this eerie cavern are rough and irregular. If they squish shut. What does this mean? The rock is quite loose? It's a loose rock? I know what I do in this situation. You it. You hit the rock as hard as you can. Well, bam! The loose rock falls down as if hinged to the wall. Yay! What? Yeah. The bag one is open. The bag contains three large jewels. I'm rich, bitches! The white gym is in hand. The red gym is in hand. The blue gym is in hand. Yes! Hooray for gems. You see, like, games like Uninvited only have, like, one circumstance in which you use hit. Whereas, you know, like, something like here, it actually makes use of hit pretty regularly, and that's cool. Because some adventure games, you know, just say, psh, fuck that. It's only there for lulls. And we can't go up that staircase because it's blocked by a uh, landslide. Now you know. Shark? Shark. Oh, nose. Nose. Yes. Stop that creepy ass music. Oh, Okay, the stones in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain doors. We already know this, children. We're good. The door is open. Okay. Let's go through the door. You enter a cold room. The stench of flesh and de <laughs> the, f the stench of flesh in decay? <laughs> Drinking. <laughs> you begin to shiver. This room is really cold. Is it? Quick, light something. It's a large pedestal with iron trim. What is this? It's a small hole in the wall some three inches deep. Hmm. You know it's a glory hole. It's only three inches deep? Well, you gotta come out the other side. In more ways than one. I guess it makes perfect sense then, uh, because we're about to take this, uh, this white stone and we're gonna shove it through that hole. Ah, uh, the subtext is coming through now. <laughs> oh, it's coming through. <laughs> Shut up, catfish. <laughs> Didn't mean it, sorry. The gem fits perfectly in the hole. <laughs> That's what she said. It's just the right size. A small crystal sphere magically appears on the stand. This crystal sphere is as cold as ice. Is it willing to sacrifice your love? I have no idea. Okay, so I'm gonna... I is the save button, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, observe here. It's like I'm about to perform a magic trick. What? Oh, dear. Okay. This is a small trap door made of polished metal. Fair enough. Well, in adventure games, you know, you pretty much feel like you have to go everywhere to see what's going on. The door is open. Okay. So let's look down there. The door is open. Thank you for telling me that the door is open. So that's all it tells me. That the door is open. No warning. Nothing that happens uninvited, nothing like that. So, let's go down there. A broken fragment of a wooden ladder hangs from the opening. As you go down the trap door, you realize you took a big step. The fall is quite fatal. Are you not still holding on with your hands? 
No! Apparently you slip whenever you suspect that there's a rung there. You can't see it. You can't see the fact that it's not there, because it's not like you have a torch or anything. Just ruffle, 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 ruffle. Oh no, my feet didn't go. I'll let go and hang on. <laughs> For good luck. <laughs> I'll grab onto my feet all the way down. Go ahead and take these torches. Now, uh, I. This is also important. Fear grips you as you enter this hot room. Hey, everybody. What's that? All you can see are two eyes in the darkness. They seem to be watching every move you make. Well, I'm gonna use the sword. And I'm gonna kill the eyes in the darkness. Nothing happened? What do you mean, nothing happened? Bullshit. I'll go down there. <laughs> I'm sure it's safe. Oh, God. Whoosh! Flames suddenly, flames suddenly shoot from the dragon's mouth. The cloak can't stand up to the dragon's fire. I bet it could if it was that up. Dragon flame engulfs your body. You pay for your curiosity with your life. That actually reveals a hint about the cloak, if you never knew about it. That the cloak actually can withstand some small forms of fire, just not dragon fire. If I hadn't, uh, uh, if I hadn't worn the cloak at all, wouldn't have even told me that. Regardless, that's knowledge that you carry with you into your grave. Okay, so I know what I'm gonna do. So I'm not even, I'm not even gonna go down there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that hammer. No, I'm not. If I were a dragon sitting in a cave and I saw someone walk through a door, I would flame them. Okay, so here's what we do here. You see this shield? This has to be your first pickup. The shield is in hand. Wow! You raise your shield just in time to block the dragon flame. Now you still I'm can't. Sure no one else heard of perfection of radiation. You still. Uh, radiation of heat, <laughs> You still can't kill the dragon, but uh, you can at least pick up the other I items in here, like this hammer. Raffle, raffle, raffle. How was the dragon not incinerated the hammer? I do, do, do not ask these <laughs> these questions. No, I will ask. It's my job. <laughs> Perhaps it's all fireproof. It's made of asbestos or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh wait, it's dwarven stuff, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Got to survive the lava. Again, flames fuse forth. You use the shield for protection. It's getting hot. You don't know how much longer you can stand it. Well, surely we'll be able to survive taking this helmet. Again, flame spews forth. You use the shield for protection. It's getting hot. You don't know how much longer you can stand it. Now let's take the skull. The skull is in hand. The shield melts. The shield melts. Under the intensity of the dragon flame, your body fares no better. Not even your best friend could recognize your burning body. Yes, yes. So, uh, one way you can do the reset, that is, if you leave and come back in, the shield will cool down again, allowing you to pick up more stuff. But we don't need anything else from this room. That chest has... I, I, I don't even remember whether you can even open it. But it has nothing of value. Wait, what is that? You seem to be, seem to be wasting your time, apparently. Okay. Something dead there, though. Alright, so now we come back to this room. Now, there's a way we get this key, and we do it with something from our inventory. Do you have any thoughts, Catfish? Ooh, is it the, uh, spear? <laughs> you attach, you get the rope from the Epor room, tie it to the spear, launch the spear into the keyhole, and then pull the key over to you. No. Oh, I was... I was going to say kill the shark and swim over. You actually can't. That's actually not the way to solve the puzzle, but it's a nice try. What bullshit? <laughs> you remember our cold as ice spear? Yes. Skadoosh. You drop the spear into the lake and notice the ripples disappear ah. as the water turns into ice. Oh, poor shark. 
Yes. Now we're going to need that sphere back. So uh, let's go ahead and use our torch. And uh, let's go ahead and reclaim that sphere. The sphere has put out the flames. Oops. <laughs> Here's what you do. Use the torch the on the frozen ice. Oh, because I didn't actually use the torch yet. You put the burning torch close to it. It allows the sphere to rise to the top. It melts away the ice of the sphere, allowing it to float to the surface. Not surprisingly, the lake quickly refreezes. Okay. I, I want to know how this doesn't freeze all of the water in my body. <laughs> do I like... Do I like wrap in the cloak? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't understand. But whatever. We're going to take that key. And we're going to go ahead and GTFO. The key three is in hand. Next step is to hmm, move here. This leads us to the coffin room. Now we're going to go ahead and open this. The lid of the coffin is open. It's a mummy! It stands silently before you. This carefully embalmed six-footer stands straight and still. Now, I don't know where the key or where the clues are for you to figure out uh, how to do this. Because I don't remember. But there must be a clue somewhere. Because you used the blue gem on the mummy? Hmm. You know, in the book of prophecy. <laughs> huh. I honestly... Speak with the mummy. Here we go. We're going to talk to the mummy. What you expected hasn't happened. Listen, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you open the mummy? Shit. Can you... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Use that on that. Nothing happened. Okay. What's in here? Ooh, that's a bag. Oh, that has copper coins in it. Damn. I don't want those. Wow. It appears I've actually, uh, forgotten this one, folks. Damn. I'll come back to you. I will come back to you. <laughs> it's been a little bit since I played the game. Okay. I'll come back and solve the mummy later. For now, it's time for us to play around in the fun house here. First off, let's look at the mirrors. This mirror throws back a fine reflection. That's how it should. This mirror has a carved oak frame. This mirror has a carved oak frame. Okay. Well, I hate carved oak frames. As soon as you break the mirror... Shards of glass fly through the air and slice into your body. Blood pours from your wounds, and your body slumps to the floor. Okay, that wasn't that seven years, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't seven years bad. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, use our faithful, trusty hammer. On this one. You have opened a magic portal into deep space. You are immediately sucked what through. The, fuck? the lack of air causes you to quickly lose consciousness. The Grim Reaper I... quickly embraces you. I see the clue. The outer two won't have oak frames, but why space? <laughs> I don't know, Catfish. Bellowing like some Norse god, you smash the hammer into the mirror. You shatter the mirror, revealing an iron door. Yay. Shit, I went the wrong way in my inventory. I have too much shit. Use. Key three. Click. The key worked. It unlocked the door. Phew. Now, before we go in there... Oh, thank God. Mommy, I will solve you. I swear to God. <laughs> it's the last fucking thing I do. Hit it with the gem. 
I will hit the mummy. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Shit. What's Can the I... bag? The bag has copper coins in it, which uh, we will not be taking. The lid of the coffin is open. You're right, it is. Can I close it? The lid of the coffin is closed. Can I look at the coffin lid? Standing sarcophagus is sealed with a dragon scale cover. Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe, I got it. I got it. I will leave the blue gem. It should be dropped. The mummy. No, wait a minute, it's best if you don't- What? <laughs> what are you- <laughs> Use. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's just the coffin lid. It looked like a little gray thing. It won't... It, ah, shit. Mommy, I will figure... Listen, my torches are dying because I'm fucking with you. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Use. Maybe it's the red gem. You dick. Is it the red gem? No, it's not. I could have to the mummy. I, I could have sworn it was hold on, I'll solve this for sure. I guess I'll uh, go deposit the other gem. So if you'll excuse me for just a moment here. Okay. Use Red gem. The gem gem seems to fit, but nothing happened. Use. Did you try using the torch on the mummy. Hey. So it is the red gem. So I did it wrong. Then I'm retarded. Hmm. Okay. I'm sad you can't set it alight. Oh God. <laughs> Relax. Gandalf. Listen, warrior. Listen, warrior! <laughs> I'm just gonna do that as a Gandalf evangelist. The warlock lord can only be defeated by thy courage and the staff of ages. Remember, five to find, three for the staff, one to be the key, and one to be thy pathway. Have thy wits about thee, warrior. Fare thee well. Don't control. Yep, and it, uh, in, and it uh, reinforces what we learned in Scroll 1. Speaking of scrolls, the scroll 2 is open. You've read the scroll. The scroll reads, As the shadow of the wind, thou shalt be. Humana. Non-existent. It's a spell. And it's, yeah. no, and it's not an anagram. <laughs> okay. Now that I figured out the fucking mystery, I can't believe I fucking was using the wrong gem this entire time. Son of a bitch. And rather than, you know, try out my other gem immediately, I was like, No! I will force this in! I'm doing it right! I am Grimace. This is how it works. It just seems like the male a sort of attitude towards something. Ask for directions? Fuck you! Nothing. Okay. Leave. Red gem. <laughs> okay. Set it on fire. <laughs> okay. <Do it. laughs> okay. No, wait. It's not the red gem. The red. Oh my god. Wow. Hey, catfish. You're right. Told ya. <laughs> Cause the red gem goes in the library and oh my god. <laughs> uh... Why was I trying to put a gem into a <laughs> My memory sucks. <laughs> Pyromania prevails. 
So I think this just proves to all of you right now, I'm not using a walkthrough because I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> so we need the scepter. We don't need it until later on in the game, but uh, yeah. Thanks for solving that mystery, Catfish. You're welcome. Cause, Cause mummies are weak to fire, naturally I should have thought of that rather than, you know, try to put the gem in a mummy. Okay. So we're gonna move on through here, and- Oh shit! This room is incredibly hot. This must be what the lower levels of Gehenna are like. You would actually- what the fuck? You would actually be forced out of this room. If I wasn't wearing the cloak, it would automatically turn you back. But since we are, we can go on through right. here just fine. And we're going to start by moving into the fire. Bellowing like a fool, you leap off the bridge and into the blaze. You are instantly fried. Okay, I know what to do here. We're going to open this door. The door is open. Suddenly, you feel a gust of wind. A searing blast of heat knocks you across the room. What? Oh dear. What is that? A flaming horror appears at the end of the bridge. What? Charge! The fire drake screams triumphantly and gives you an internal sunburn. Well, dick. Apparently it killed us by giving us an internal sunburn. <laughs> I'll be paying for mm, uh. Internal. So, here we go. Remember our cold as ice item? You son of a bitch! You hurl the spear into the fire below you. The hell spawn flames quickly vanish as soon as the sphere touches them. With nothing to feed itself on, the fire drake immediately follows suit. Solved. Wait. Let's go wade in the oil. Suicide obviously does not solve problems. You never know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, sometimes, I mean, like in Planescape Torment, that's how you solve problems through death. Okay. A sharp, cold wind whips up over the ledge of the deep, dark chasm. That's nice. Let's go forward. As you step on the bridge. A troll appears and says, This bridge is mine. It'll cost you a gold coin to cross. You don't want a gold coin from us. There's an epic goat coming. Now, we don't have a gold coin. Uh, you could give it the copper coins. I don't remember whether it's actually fooled by copper coin. But, uh, at least this time. We'll see him again. But here's how I'm going to deal with this problem. I'm not even going to let him do something like yank the bridge out from under me, or throw me off the bridge. Fuck you. The troll follows oh, silent. Can yeah, he can do that, too. And I just don't feel like it, because we've seen enough deaths so far. I don't want you to drink anymore. Ah. Oh, good. The troll falls silently anyway. into the dark cavern. You listen, but you do not hear him crash. Dun dun dun! Let's join him! <laughs> With a loud cry, you take the big plunge. Let's continue. The moon casts a brilliant shadow over the grounds of the courtyard. What is that? Mole creatures! Yeah! Talk about puzzles. As soon as you get that cloak, you have to solve the fire drake, then you have to solve the troll, then you have to solve this. The Cyclops. Ready for battle! I'm not battle. Well... We know how to deal with battle. Use sword. Da -da -da! A battle cry dies in your throat as the Cyclops crushes your skull with his club. What's a nice fellow? Well then, we have we 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 have the possessions required to deal with him, and it's not the gem. Do you have any thoughts on how to kill the Cyclops? Catfish. Scepter? Sling? Let's use the scepter! Scepter! 
Nothing happened. Damn. Sling, you say, though? You remember that stone we put in there? As, hey, okay. as soon as you start twirling the sling, a magical influence takes over your body. You cry out, DEATH TO THE PHILISTINE! And release the stone. <laughs> Bullseye! Now, this is important, children. You can almost see the stars revolving around the Cyclops' head. He is down, but not out. This is why there are multiple yeah, stones. Good. He's still alive. But you notice uh, we only picked up one stone. You drive the sword deep into the Cyclops. Blood pours out of the wound and onto the grass. Nice. Let's check him again. It's a dead Cyclops. Cyclops. What do you expect after stabbing him with your sword? Throw him down the well. He's dead. I can't throw him down the well. However, oh. I, I can throw myself down the well. You didn't save before that, didn't you? Yeah, I saved. We're good. Just checking. Alrighty. How about we... Use the well instead. That's no fun. The crank turns rather easily. At the end of the e pour, there is a small bucket. Look in the bucket. A small bucket. Open the bucket. Yes, you open a bucket, children. Take gauntlet. That'll be important later. Open that door, and go ahead and move into the beyond. It's a long, drafty hallway, with one flight of stairs and several open passages. Alright folks, I'm coming up on my, uh, my stop record time here, which I'm going to be enforcing because my supper's been sitting next to me, and it's been getting cold. I don't feel like eating that much, because that would be rude. However, I'll leave us off on a fun note. This is a laboratory. Let's open that cage. You remove the latch and a mutated dog pounces on you. It, it looks like the doctor put something strange in the dog's water. <laughs> I shall call him Mr. Snuffle. Before you can do anything else, the mutation quickly rips you apart. Oh. Okay. It's always a sad thing. But, but before we do that, I just want to showcase that I actually know about this game. I, I just, I honestly do remember it now. I swear to God, use Red Gem. See? That's where the gem goes. I know it. Excellent. Save. Now let's go get ourselves killed to end the game. Oh, we can actually go get ourselves killed in here. Yay. You, oh, new death. You see this? This is a window. So they cry, you jump to your death. It takes only a couple of seconds before you hit the bottom. With a thud. Uh. Alright folks, thank you for joining me through, uh, partly heading on through Shadowgate. It'll actually be a shorter video as opposed to like 59 minutes or what have you. Yeah. What a novel concept, I know. Now, uh, next Great time... Fun. Next time, we may have Catfish, we may have somebody else, or you may have just a double dosage of Grimeth. Catfish, do you have I any final thoughts that. regarding this? Um, I finished the bottle. <laughs> yes! Are you smashed? No, it's not that strong. Oh, you're not tuckered out. Okay, then. Cheerio and all that rot. <laughs> yes. Just going to use random British words at you and see what happens. All right, uh, so so I think we've learned. I I know what I've learned. Don't use gems on the mummy. It doesn't work. Set the mummy on fire. I I'm so dumb. Anyway, uh, thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you all next time when we get on with it.